Hello, welcome back. I'm Mark. Nice to see you. I've been trying to make an interesting lesson. We're staying with my brother while our house is being repainted. Jessica called me while I was having dinner last night. Toronto will be getting larger in the coming years. Rome is having an urban change. Everyone seems to be studying for an English exam these days. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at continuous verb forms, so stay tuned! So by now you know, generally speaking, that continuous tenses are those actions that are happening around the moment of speaking or at the moment of speaking. They actually emphasize the action itself. These tenses are present continuous, past continuous, present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, future continuous, and the passive forms. Yeah, I understand why you're looking so confused, don't worry. If you want to review those tenses, you may click here. In order to make the lesson simple, I've divided the usage in six groups. So let's take a look at them. The first group, to describe actions happening over a period of time. And this is what we usually use it for, right? The continuous tenses, I mean. So let's take a look at my first introductory example. I've been trying to make an interesting lesson. So what tense is this? Yes, this is the present perfect continuous. I've been trying to make an interesting lesson. So we know that present perfect continuous is an action that started some, somewhere in the past, we don't care exactly when, and continues up to now. I've been trying to make an interesting lesson. So that means that sometime in the past, I started, okay, trying to make an interesting lesson and I continue up to the moment of speaking. Let's just take a look at my second example. I see you're learning English. Yes, right now, I see, I understand, in this case, it means I see, I understand you're learning English. Yes, you're learning English, that means that is something that you're doing at the moment of speaking. You're learning English. Around the moment of speaking, at the moment of speaking, over a period of time. That's right. Let's take a look at the second usage. When an action is temporary. We're staying with my brother while our house is being painted. Now, pay close attention here because we have two continuous forms. So, we're staying with my brother. In this period, so it's temporary, in this period, I'm staying with my brother. So, I'm staying in this period, continuous forms. While our house is being painted. Okay, so what is this? What tense is this? Yes, is the passive. What type of passive? Is the present continuous passive. Why I say that? Because is being painted, is in the process of being painted, right? So, is plus the ink form is being and then painted, somebody else does it, right? So, is being painted. For a passive sentence, we don't care who is doing the action. If you want to watch a lesson on passives, you may click here. However, is being painted. So my house is being painted. I don't care who is doing it. Let's take a look at my second example. He was surfing the net while waiting for a call. What happens here? We have a tense. Which tense is this? Is the past continuous. But look at this verb. He was surfing the net while waiting for a call. What tense is that? Is past continuous. Why? Because it's the same as saying he was surfing the net while he was waiting for a call. We don't need to repeat the subject and the auxiliary of the original sentence. So he was surfing the net while he was waiting. We don't need it. Waiting for a call. It's the same thing. The third usage talks about happening around a point of time. And my uh, example was Jessica called me while I was having dinner last night. So. Jessica, what tense is this? Past simple. Yes, Jessica called me 
because I know when she called me, while, and then an action that it was happening around that time, so around the point of time, I was having dinner last night. And last night is the uh, point of reference of the past simple, right? So, I, Jessica called me while I was having dinner last night. Let's take a look at another example. At two o'clock, Sue was still waiting for the bus to arrive. What tense is this? Yes, past continuous again. And still is what? Is an adverb of time. Yes, Sue was still waiting for the bus to arrive. So we have the time, the point of time, or around the point of time, Sue was still waiting for the bus to arrive. So she was sitting, maybe she was reading, and she was waiting for the bus to arrive. Let's take a look at the fourth usage. When you want to specify a change or development. So Toronto will be getting larger in the coming years. So we have what tense here? Yes, future simple continuous. Toronto, Toronto, will be getting larger in the coming years. So, will be, look at be, the verb to be, plus ing, will be getting larger in the coming years. So, will become larger in the coming years. So, it's going to change and it's going to develop and become larger. Or, my son is becoming more and more intelligent. So, it's a change here. We specify a change and... Uh, because he's becoming more and more intelligent and we used the present continuous. So for the fifth usage, I wrote when an action is incomplete. Like in my example, Rome is having an urban change. So something is changing and is incomplete, right? But it will change for sure. So Rome is having an urban change. Is having is the present continuous, that's right, is having an urban change. Let's take a look at another example. You were watching my lesson before your mother walked in the room and you couldn't finish watching the lesson, right? So what tense is this? Past continuous, that's right. You were watching my lesson before your mother walked in the room. So you couldn't finish watching the lesson and it's incomplete. Now, I'm going to erase this and we're going to look at the sixth usage. So stay tuned. For the last usage, we use the form B plus ing to give emphasis to an action in progress at a specific time. Just like my example. Everyone seems to be studying B plus ing seem to be studying for an English exam these days. So I give emphasis to this fact that everyone seems to be studying for an English exam these days. Be careful not to confuse state and action verbs. Sometimes though, they can be both state and action verbs. Like in my example, the verb to have. I have a white car. I possess, I own a white car versus I was having a shower when you called. Well, in this case, have takes part of an expression, to have a shower or to take a shower. If you want to watch a lesson on stative or dynamic verbs, you can click here. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or if you want to type your own example, you may do so under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you want to share the lesson, go ahead. Having said that, see you next week with a new English lesson. And remember, everything we hear is an opinion. And it doesn't mean it's a fact. Bye-bye.